to the entire world to be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time, and I will not waste your time. Before I pray, I want to let you know, if you have someone with any illness, any illness, I am speaking of the flesh, I am speaking of the spirit, it matters not because we have a God who has the capacity to cure and heal all because all come from our God. I have a fully disabled son at home. He cannot walk. He cannot talk. He cannot sit. He cannot stand. He cannot crawl. He is a blessing from God. My son cannot say my name. He cannot say my wife's name. I am not saying this to gain sympathy. I am not saying this to gain subscribers. This is a fact in my everyday life. He had complete spinal surgery in 2023. And two years before that, he had a life-saving gastro surgery. So I know how phenomenal God is. And during that process, God did send dreams and visions my way. And God did have counselors, spiritual counselors that are not present on this earth, speak to me in my dreams and in my visions and kept me encouraged. So I am speaking only as God's servant. I am not a prophet. I am not a pastor. I am not a preacher. I am not ordained. I did not go to schools for any religious studies. And I must say all of these things up front because I am not going to waste your time. But I am letting you know I am a servant of God, just like you. And I go through situations just like you. I've lost jobs because of my family situation. Dealing with my son, I have had employers just disregard the fact of what my son goes through, what my wife and I go through. So I am praying this prayer. And this prayer is for the entire world. This prayer is a prayer of intercession. This prayer can heal all. If you believe in God, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you believe in the Holy Spirit, now is the time to get to know God, to get to know Jesus Christ, to get to know the Holy Spirit, because knowing is further than believing. Now, I believe and I know that God can heal you. I believe and I know that God can remove all evil and obliterate all evil. I believe and I know that you shall have spiritual breakthrough, that you will have spiritual endowment. The words that I speak are unscripted. I am pulled over in a parking lot. And yes, the video will be edited by the time you see it. But these words are unscripted. I'm going to speak them from my heart and I need you to understand that I'm not yelling at you, but I am filled with cloven tongues of fire. And the words that I speak, they will obliterate evil. They will conquer all your fears because the phrase fear not appears in the Bible 365 times exactly. That phrase fear not appears in the Bible 365 times. So let us begin to conquer all of our fears. Let us begin to conquer sickness. Let us begin to conquer all things that shall not be present. And for those wondering why I don't say a prayer for my own disabled son, I have, and he's been saved many times. His condition and in his state, God had sent me that vision prior to. Jesus had disciples that had disabilities, special needs. Many people don't understand that, but Jesus had disciples that had autism and Jesus had disciples that had cerebral palsy, MS. These things most don't know, some do. But let us say a prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, our personal Lord and Savior, individually and collectively, Father, by the way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. Father, this prayer, we come to you, Father, and we are summoning, Father, you for all the powers that you have of righteousness, of goodness, of healing, Father. Father, we are summoning you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, Father. Father, we beseech you, God,
by the way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. Father, you have given us the cloven tongues of fire. Jesus said that we should go about and do greater works than what he has done, Father. Jesus spoke those words, God. And Father, we are holding right now onto your garment. We are wrestling with you, God, not against you, God, but with you, God. Claiming this victory, claiming that we have the power to heal people, Father, to heal humanity, Father, to heal the flesh that we are in, Father. For we know we are a spirit, Father, but we are first housed also here on this earth, in this atmosphere, in this fleshly being, Father. Father, you can do all things, Father. And Father, we can do all things, Father, through Jesus Christ, the Nazareth, who we call upon now, God, to bring about healing, to bring about restoration, Father. Father, we know that evil does not exist, Father. We know the devil is dead, God. We know the devil is dead because if you spell that name backwards, you have the word lived. We serve the living God who gives us the living water, who gives us the living word, who also gives us the living life that we have. The air we breathe in, Father, is the air of the Holy Spirit, Father. For we know, Father, the prince of the air is nothing, the prince of nothing, Father. For the Holy Spirit is the air that we breathe, so that prince has nothing. We serve a king father that is uncreated father we serve jesus christ father that comes from you your begotten son father so there is nothing father that cannot be had by humanity father there is nothing father that cannot be had by your children of the light father which is your race god's race the human race father and we call upon you jesus we will not let you go jesus because you said we shall do greater works. And part of those greater works, Father, is the spiritual warfare and defeating and obliterating and decimating all evil, God. And I am standing right here, Father. For I know you are the only one that can fill this void here on this earth that we are experiencing, God. Use us, Father, as your vessels, Father, of light. Let us be able, Father, to do more than what any other human has done before, God. For this generation here on this earth has never seen Jesus Christ, God. But we believe more in Jesus Christ now, Father, than what they did 2,000 years ago when Jesus roamed this earth, God. I don't say this in vain, Father, because I know it's a fact, God. Because if we, this generation of people, were placed back then with the knowledge we have, Father, we would have not let Jesus, our Savior, be crucified. It would have been a battle, a spiritual warfare to save the life of Jesus, Father. And we know Jesus lives in us, God, and we know that we can heal. So anyone listening to this message right now, God has his hand inside of your chest and holding your heart, holding your mind holding your brain, holding your limbs, holding all of your organs. For God created them and you were made in the image and in the likeness and you do not let that go. That likeness is healing. That likeness is restoration. That like likeness is motivation. That likeness is everything that we ever desired. That likeness is everything that we ever need in God. You said you would open up a window and pour out a blessing that we shall not be able to receive it all. Well, Father, let us live in the overflow of that blessing, Father. Though we may not be able to receive it all, Father, let us be fruitful and multiply and fill our storehouses so the next generation be able to receive that blessing to God. God, we say right now that you are grabbing hold of this generation, not just the youth, everyone alive, Father. Even the ones that do not know you, Father, they shall feel your presence, God. Anytime that anyone watches this video, walks into a room, God, they will feel the presence of that individual and they will know that they are filled with the cloven tongues of fire and that God has set them on assignment, has appointed and anointed them in that process, God. All healing is in you, God. That means all healing is in us, Father. We can self-heal. We believe we can do these things, Father. 
We also have medications, Father. We have doctors, Father. Let us be able to utilize all of these resources, God. Bless these doctors, Father, so they may continue to learn and spread their knowledge and practice that, Father, in faith, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, so that your children may be healed, God, such as these doctors have done for my son multiple times. And praise God, hallelujah, you have your surgeons here, Father. But you also have children of the light who use their hands for healing, who use their tongues, Father, to cast out demons, to cast out evil, to eradicate all things that do not stand in accordance with you, God. And here we are. Fill us up, Lord. Fill us up, God. For these and many other blessings, we will continuously pray in the word and blood of your darling son, Jesus Christ the Nazarene, by way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit. God, we recognize you here and now. Amen. Amen and amen. God loves you. God is with you. God loves you. God loves you. God is with you. Amen. God. Amen. No God is with you. No God understands and God will send people your way. Let us use social media as God's outlet, God's account, God's center. That's what we should do. We should spread the word of God all across social media. Share this powerful prayer. Because I didn't say one single word. All that word came from the cloven tongues of fire. It came from the spirit. Not me. God bless you and God be with you. And endure the long suffering, the forbearance, because healing is on its way. And you will have a testimony to the testament of God. Amen.